Hello guys, it's Chris from DaxTrader.co.uk and we're going to do a video to run you through the RSI or the DAX Trade RSI EA, Expert Advisor and the Indicator if you've also got that as well. So the video is just really designed to show you how to install the files onto your MetaTrader platform. It will be for anybody who has either bought the DAX Trader Indicator on its own, the RSI Indicator on its own or whether they've bought the EA on its own or the bundle where they get both together. So what you're going to need is your MetaTrader platform to be open. Okay, either a real account or a demo account, it doesn't really matter. And uh, you're going to need to have the files open or ready to be transferred. So you're going to need to open up the Explorer folder or the Finder folder um, so you can get the files. Okay, quick disclaimer before we start. Trading financial markets is risky, so um, this can involve the risk of losing all of your invested money. So um, I'm not providing any financial advice here. Um, you need to be very, very careful with using any automated trading software because if not managed properly, it could uh, it could wipe your account out. So you've got to be very, very careful. Okay, so let's take a look then. So if you've purchased the software already, First of all, thank you very much. And uh, you would have had a zip file that's ready for you to, to, to be downloaded. So you're either going to have a zip file that will look like this, which will have six files in it. That's the RSI Expert Advisor and the Indicator, Okay, which would be both EX4 files. Uh, and you'll also have this Trend Arrow Indicator, which is just a freebie, which is also an EX4 file. Okay, so these are the files that have the code in them. Um, they're not executable files, so you cannot double click on these files. It won't do anything. Okay, these files have to be click and dragged into a different folder to make them work. Okay, so you'll need to copy and paste them somewhere else. These two folders, uh, sorry, these two files, these template files, these will do something different. Once again, you can't double click on these. They won't do anything. So you'll need to copy them and paste them into another area. But of course, you've got a readme file here as well. And um, it will give you a bit of information. Um, but hopefully this video will clarify it a bit more for you. So this will be the expert advisor and the indicator. The other one is either whether it's the trial or whether you've purchased it uh, should have the same files. The only difference being that the trial will expire after a particular period of time, whereas the full version doesn't. And uh, the five files will be here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the only difference is that you don't have the indicator. But you've got the other two EX4 files and you've got the, other, the, the template files as well. Okay, so let's assume that you bought all of them. Okay, let's assume you bought this one here, which has got the indicator and the expert advisor together. Okay or in whatever way, you, you have both of those files. So a couple of things you're going to need to do. You open up your MetaTrader platform. It will be blank like this. You'll probably see your market watch window up here, your navigator window down there. If you don't, you can click view and you can find them on there. Okay, so market watch, navigator. You'll need to have the navigator window open down here. So I'm just going to expand that, make it a bit bigger. Get rid of all these. Okay, let's just refresh this. Okay, so this is pretty much what you'll see. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to just add a chart, any kind of chart. Let's just go for the DAX. Okay, so on FXCM, that's called GER30. We'll add that in, click in and drag. It will look something like this. Okay. And uh, what you can then do is you can change that if you want to. So you can right click on it, properties, and it will allow you to change the color scheme if you want something a little bit different. You can change it. Okay. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a what I would call uh, the, my FXCM template, okay, which looks like this, because I'm used to using FXCM's market scope. And I just simply like the way it looks. I'm used to looking at that. A MetaTrader doesn't have this kind of template as standard. So uh, I'll first of all show you how to install that. So if you go back to your files that you have here, okay, 
Now that template you can see in front of you on the MetaTrader platform here is this one there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually click and drag both of these or right click and copy both of these into the MetaTrader folders. Okay. And the way that you'll find that is to go up here to file, open data folder. Okay. It should bring up something similar to this. <coughs> Excuse me. Once that's been brought up, it's nice and easy. You can just go into the templates folder, right click, paste, and then it's done. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have them. They're already there. But that's what you'll do on yours. So that's your template. The next step for the template is to restart your FXCM platform because they won't actually show up yet. They need to be, you need to reload the software for it to realize it's there. And once you reload it, if you can see these taskbars at the top, these icons, this icon here is your templates icon. If you click on that, you'll see the FXCM or something similar on your drop down. Okay, the other way you can do it, you can right click, <coughs> excuse me, and then template, and it will show you the same drop down. And there it will be. So that's how to install the templates. So the second part of the video is to show you how to install the indicators uh, and the expert advisor. So we'll start with the indicator first. It's very similar for the expert advisor. They're just going to go into a slightly different folder. So we'll take the, in the indicator first of all. So you right click copy. Once more time, you can open the data folder from your MetaTrader platform, file open data folder. It'll bring up the same box again. This time round, we're going to go into MQL4. Okay. And once we're into that, the next folder we're going to go into is the indicators folder. Of course, the next step you might have already been able to see here is going to be in the experts folder here as well. So you're going to indicators, you'll right click, you'll paste. I'll do it this time because I didn't actually see it there. And that's done. Okay, so that's the indicator transferred over. So what we can do now is go back to the MetaTrader platform. And there's a, a, a plus sign, if you like, next to this word indicators on the navigator panel. Okay, you open that. Right click anywhere here and press refresh. And once you've done that, you'll see right at the bottom is the indicator. So you click drag that in and there you go okay now ignore that I'm gonna press control and I double click on that and that's where you can change all the settings that you want for your indicator so There we go. Okay, so I've just done very quickly there, put on a particular setting that I tend to use quite often, which is an 80-20 RSI overbought oversold with a 21 period, sometimes more, uh, on a five minute chart. Okay, and that's given us our buy and sell signals. In this particular case, it's been really difficult because from Thursday and Friday, Friday, Thursday, um, just gone, we had that ECB Draghi came out online to kind of say that um, the, EC, uh, the uh, QE program will be looked at in December. And of course, the market gained sort of 600 points in two days. So it went massively overbought and it's unlikely to change that. So you might want to adjust your settings on this one to maybe have higher tolerance on the overbought levels and maybe bring up the oversold so it gives you more buying signals than selling signals, like here, for example. That's what I would typically do. I mean, yeah, if you got in down there, you're laughing. But of course, we didn't realize that that was going to happen. 
Anyway, so that's the indicator. Um, so the next thing to install now is the expert advisor. So I'm just going to keep the indicator running there. It's not going to do any harm. And let me see what we've got. So back to the folder again. And this time around, we're going to install the expert advisor. Just so you're aware, that trend arrow indicator, I'll just install that now just to show you quickly. I want to right click copy. I'm going to open that data folder again. I've probably got about 700 of them open already now. MQL4, indicators, right click, paste, done. Back to the, M the MetaTrader account, right click anywhere here, refresh, shows up at the bottom there. Click and drag, play with the settings. I don't know, uh, 21 and 100 with a 14 period RSI. Do I want alerts? Why not? There we go, We've got some arrows. Just shows you a basic trend arrow when certain RSI conditions cross over with moving averages. So um, that's what that one does. That's how you install that indicator. So just one on a tangent, let's go back to the expert advisor. So the expert advisor file will be transferred and copied over exactly the same way as you did with the indicator. So let me just show you that. Here it is. That's the file, the EX4 file for the expert advisor. For the trial, it might be called something slightly different, but I think you'll be able to work it out by elimination. It will probably be something like, um, like this one. I might say that. Depending on which version you've downloaded, because there's been a few different uh, months that this is running for now. Okay, so we'll right click, we'll copy. We'll open the data folder. MQL4, experts. Right click, paste. Go back into here, click anywhere, refresh. But this time it's not going to show up under indicators, it's going to show up under expert advisors. So you can get rid of that, open up that one. And there it is. So you can right click, drag that in, play with the settings. You'll need to make sure that that, uh, sorry, that is ticked. You'll likely need to do this. Choose whatever you like. I think I did 80, you might actually might change it to 1935, 21 periods. There we go. And you can choose your normal settings. So this, this video isn't going to go into the settings of the RSI, uh, the expert advisor. That's in a, covered in a separate topic. This is just for installation. So you can deal with this uh, in another video. And that's it installed. I've got a happy face up here next to the DexTrader RSI Expert Advisor description. But if you don't have that, you'll probably need to click this button here that says Auto Trading. Or you go to Tools, Options, and uh, under Expert Advisors, Allow Automated Trading. And I'm just checking if there was another one there. There isn't. And that should make it work for you. If you don't see this button here, you may just want to go to View, Toolbars, and click all of them. And then you should hopefully see it. If it's not ticked, it'll look like that. And if it is, it will look like that. And you'll see the difference on the face over here. Grumpy face, smiley face. So hopefully that does it for you. Good luck trading with it. Be careful with the levels. Make sure that you set your limits and your stop losses correctly. Don't set too many charts up with it because in volatile periods it can open and close hundreds of trades and it can really do some damage to your account. So just use it wisely and um, give me a shout if you need any anything answered. Best of luck. Catch up with you soon. Good luck trading.